just a day after being sworn in the countries. As the country's new president, Sri Lanka's Ranil Vikramasinghe has now sworn in the island nation's new prime minister. Senior lawmaker Dinesh Gunawardena has now been sworn in as Sri Lanka's new prime minister. He is a veteran politician and a former foreign minister who hails from one of Sri Lanka's most prominent political families. He was also President Vikramasinghe's classmate in school. Along with the Prime Minister, Vikramasinghe has also appointed the new cabinet for his government. And according to reports, former Finance Minister Ali Sabri has been given the External Affairs Department. Interestingly, no member from the Rajapaksa clan has been given any ministry. Amid these political developments, authorities have beefed up security outside Sri Lanka's presidential office. This comes hours after security forces cleared a major protest site and made several arrests in Colombo. Fresh protests have erupted since morning. The police have reportedly blocked roads to limit travel. Dozens of union members staged protests denouncing the latest crackdown. This came after hundreds of riot police wielding batons and shields raided the presidential secretariat and a nearby protest camp at midnight, arresting at least eight people. Media footage from yesterday's crackdown showed soldiers armed with assault rifles storming the campsite. As daylight broke, dozens of troops marched through the area dismantling the tents. Dozens of protesters were injured, including some journalists who were reportedly beaten by security forces. Last night, we normally stay there. Uh, government troops came, uh, 2,000 troops came here uh, and uh, they blocked the all um, roads, uh, put the barriers and uh, destroyed our tent and our property uh, and they, they wanted to rescue the um, presidential secretary uh, office uh, and uh, they beat us really badly. Uh, they beat uh, deaf people, disabled people also, they uh, beat it very badly, very cruelly. Vikramasinghe earlier issued warnings to protesters saying that occupying state buildings was illegal and that they would be evicted unless they left on their own. He also declared a state of emergency that gives sweeping powers to armed forces and the police. Taking to Twitter, the Sri Lankan opposition leader Sajid Premadasa slammed the police crackdown, calling it a cowardly act against peaceful protesters. The Bar Association of Sri Lanka has also condemned the clampdown. Meanwhile, the U.S. envoy to Sri Lanka, Julie Chung, has expressed concerns over the latest development and has called for absolute restraint and immediate medical treatment for those injured. We earlier spoke to our correspondent, Dasuni Athara from Colombo. She's been tracking the latest on-ground updates from Sri Lanka. Let's take a look. Well, that is something we are yet to see, provided that he now has to garner the support and the confidence of the entire parliament following this appointment as well. And for months on end, we've seen this discussion of an all-party government that has been thrown around on multiple occasions. We've had the former president, Gotabe Rajapaksa, who desperately attempted to form an all-party government, but it failed. So it will be interesting to see how the newly elected president along with the newly appointed prime minister will sort of work together, provided that politically they've been in opposing camps. Nevertheless, um, their childhood, they've been classmates, like you mentioned before, uh, will come together and work together to form this all party government. Veteran politician and a close ally of the Rajapaksa family, Dinesh Gunavardena, has now been sworn in as a new prime minister of the crisis-hit island nation. He has been appointed as the 26th prime minister of Sri Lanka. The new appointment came as the post fell vacant after Ranil Vikramasinghe became president. This after former president Gotabaya Rajapaksa fled the country after a wave of violent protests triggered in Sri Lanka last week. The 73-year-old politician, a schoolmate of Vikramasinghe, was the foreign affairs and education minister in the previous Gotabaya Mahinda government. He was appointed as a home minister in April by the former president. Gunavardena, who was educated in the United States and the Netherlands, is known as a fierce fighter like his father. 
Philip Gunawardena, who is known as the father of socialism in Sri Lanka. His family ties with India are interesting to note here. His father was a classmate of Indian independence activist Jay Prakash Narayan at the University of Wisconsin, where he advocated for freedom from imperialism in American political circles. So far, he has a clean image, just like his parents, and has been a powerful Sri Lankan cabinet minister for more than 22 years. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.